This is one of the best essences. It's like an instant fix. So why did I dislike it? Started noticing as which instantly put me off it. So, and young, this is Yuhi from One Eye Beauty, the place to find all the Korean beauty info in One Eye. Starvana has kindly sent me many Korean skincare products for me to review past two months and out of those I've featured the selection of the best anti-aging products in my previous Mother's Day special video. In today's video I'm ready to show you the remaining products, serums, toners, eye patches, sunscreen and even our body care products highlighting the best the so-sos and the bad disappointing one. We have a lot to get through today, so without further ado, let's get this going. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Come down, thank you so much. Before I start sharing the best product, I had a request from one of the viewers that I should start with sharing what skin type I am. I have a dry and mature skin as I'm over 40, but in all of my videos I try to talk through to suit all skin types, so the reviews you're about to hear will not be based upon just my skin. So no matter what skin type you have, make sure you stick around until the end of this video. Let's kickstart with the best products. Jin Jung Sung Soothing Moisture Skin Essence. This is in a quite heavy glass bottle. It's in a very solid packaging that contains 150 ml of their amazing essence. Can you believe? This will last you a long time. The word Jinjong in Korean means to calm. So the name itself is kind of therapeutic as it calms me down. And its simple and clean design reflects this name really well. And what's inside it reflects it really well at the same time. This is a very effective nourishing essence packed with skin hydrating ingredients delivering a long-lasting hydration. This essence has a thick serum-like texture enriched with skin hydrating ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, ceramide and niacinamide plus anti-aging hero ingredients like collagen and adenosine and skin soothing metacacoside. Without any fragrance, it feels deeply hydrating and nourishing. This is one of the best essences that I've tried. My dry and mature skin absolutely loved it. It has won Van 2023 awards and it's priced around $22 for 150ml so it's a great value as well and using my discount code you'll be able to get it for even cheaper. I'll leave the details down below. Hamish Bulgarian Rose Water Hydrogel Eye Patch. I absolutely love this eye patch. I finished its entire packet which I've shown previously in one of my early videos where I compared this along with the Corsrex Snail eye patches which is another one of my favorites. I am a fan of eye patches, love using them especially in the morning. In my opinion these are much more effective to improve dark circles and eye bags than the eye creams. It's like an instant fix. This is formulated with many skin brightening and anti-aging ingredients like rose flower water, niacinamide and elantoin you can find out more about these ingredients and how I use them in the morning in my previous video. This is another Vana 2023 Always winner and it's priced around $20 for 60 pieces. Jumiso All Day Vitamin Brightening and Balancing Facial Serum. An extremely gentle vitamin C serum containing a low percentage of pure vitamin C. This was featured in my previous vitamin C video where I showed a range of affordable Korean vitamin C serums for all levels so I won't talk too much about this in this video. If you want to find out more you can go and check out that video after watching this one. This is another Vana 2023 Always winner and it sold over 10,000 from Just Style Vana. So you can see how popular this serum is. It is an effective and gentle serum especially suitable for those who are starting vitamin C serum. This is priced around $24 for 30 mils. It's on sale all the time at Starvana and using my discount code below you can get it for even cheaper. Etude Sun Price Mild Watery Light Sunscreen. This was discovered after I tried on many different mineral sunscreens. I'll be doing a video on best Korean mineral sunscreen soon. So make sure you subscribe to not to miss out on that where I'll be showing my honest review and my top 5 ranking of Korean mineral sunscreens. The biggest common difference between the chemical and mineral sunscreens is that chemical sunscreen is more hydrating and dewy as it absorbs into the skin whereas mineral sunscreens it sits on top of your skin like a shield so it can feel a bit more more dry and matte and it leaves a bit of a white cast. I had no doubt that this will be a chemical sunscreen as it contains a very typical chemical sunscreen like texture. It feels hydrating giving a bit of a dewy finish without any white cast so I was 
very shocked when I discovered that this is actually a mineral sunscreen. This sunscreen feels lightweight, airy and comfortable. It's infused with Centella asiatica, hyaluronic acid, aloe leaf extract, 20 kinds of botanical ingredients and various essential oils including sunflower seed oil, eucalyptus leaf oil and orange peel oil. This contains a natural sunscreen smell that leaves no white cast and a dewy finish. As the sunscreen contains only one mineral UV filter, zinc oxide, I would recommend this to sensitive skin types. Just like its name, Sunprise, this was a highly surprising mineral sunscreen that's priced around $16 for 50 grams. I don't know why it looks so small though when it's in a standard sunscreen size. That's the only flaw I can think of for this sunscreen, which is a very subjective flaw. Aromatica, Awakening, Body Oil, Peppermint and Eucalyptus. OMG, how I love this body oil. It gives me a holistic aromatherapy at home. I regularly have pain in my shoulders by the end of the day. So after shower, before going to bed, I spread a bit of this all over my shoulders and my neck area. And it feels so soothing with a bit of a cooling effect. Peppermint and eucalyptus oil helps to soothe the skin with a cooling effect. And this contains many other plant-based oils like jojoba oil, olive oil, almond oil, and sunflower seed oil, helping to nourish, hydrate, and enhance skin elasticity. One of my subscribers has shared a funny story about this body oil. After having an everything shower, she thought that it would be a good idea to use this body oil all over her body. She ended up feeling really cold and weird, so had to take herself into bed for an hour to recover with the electric blanket on. So just make sure to apply only a small amount on the parts where you have pains rather than all over the body as its cooling effect can be pretty strong if you apply on too much. This is around $30 for 100 mils. It can sound a little pricey, but it will last for a long time as you only need a little. And using my discount code below, you can get it for cheaper. Now let's move on to the So So products. The Lab by Blanc Du's Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Deep Toner. I like this brand's green flavonoid solution toner as it contains many skin soothing ingredients like green flavonoid, cica and ceramide. I thought it was very skin soothing but it wasn't hydrating enough. So I was looking forward to this one thinking could this be more hydrating? This is a watery toner formulated with exclusive higher origin technology that divides hyaluronic acid into an even smaller particle for optimal skin absorption. It also contains other skin hydrating ingredients such as panthenol and allantoin. So this sounds attractive, but I didn't find this toner hydrating enough. It gives a bit of a hydration, that's about it. Combination and oily skin types, if you're looking for a lightweight toner, I think you'll like this. This is priced around $22 for 200 mils. Turtle Collagen Lifting Eye Cream. Turtle, a very trending brand of this year, isn't it? I featured this previously in my eye cream video. This is a luxurious eye cream that's infused with 10,000 ppm plant-based collagen complex in a unique metal ball tip packaging. It's also infused with many other skin brightening and anti-aging ingredients as mentioned previously in my eye cream video. You can check out more about this eye cream and many other Korean eye creams where I talk more in depth along with introducing selection of my top five best eye creams. Despite the fact that this is a very luxurious eye cream, I placed this into the so-so category because I found this metal ball tip a bit big to go very near my eye area and the eye cream is a bit too lightweight for me. I found it a bit difficult to keep them away from my eyes. But it still is a lovely delicate eye cream that leaves your eye area feeling plump and moisturized so it is a good luxurious eye cream Priced around $47 for 15 mils. You can get it for cheaper using my discount code below. Pefferty Golden Snail Hydrogel Eye Patch. Pefferty does various hydrogel eye patches and this one is packed with anti-aging ingredients. So if you want to tackle your fine lines as well as dark circles, eye bags and puffiness, then this will be a great choice. This eye patch is in a good size that fits and stays perfectly under the eyes. It's formulated with effective anti-aging ingredients, seaweed, 
collagen and snail filtrate with 24k gold to brighten the under eye area and skin soothing green tea extract and mugwort extract. This is a great hydrogel eye patch but I place it in the so-so category because it's slightly thinner than the Hamish one and it dries up quicker than the previous Hamish eye patch as well. Here I'm being really picky I know. They say that you can leave these on for 15 minutes. I say that that's way too long. 5 to 10 minutes should be maximum before they completely dry out remove them and one of the tips i can give you when using hydrogel eye patches is that before you are about to take them out just leave it upside down for a bit so that all the goodness inside spreads out evenly on all of the patches and i usually don't recommend keeping any of your skincare products in the fridge except for the hydrogel eye patches when these are kept cold it helps to dip up your eye area this is around 16 dollars for 60 pieces kahi aqua balm I like Kahi Balms and this is almost like a sunstick with SP50 plus PA4 pluses. It contains a blend of salmon collagen and Jeju fermented oil to help with skin hydration and anti-aging. I did feature this along with Kahi's famous Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balm in this video over here. So I won't talk too much about this balm in today's video. You can go and check it out over there after watching this one. I rated this in the so-so category because other than the fact that it's in a good easy to apply shape, there's nothing that really differentiates this to other sun sticks. Because it's called Aqua Balm, you'd think that this will be very hydrating on the skin, right? But it isn't. It, it's not that hydrating. But if you want to use this like a matte finish sun stick, I think it will do a great job as it doesn't smudge your makeup. Its design and size is really easy to carry on in your handbag and just stick it out whenever you fancy. Reapply anywhere around the face whenever you want, wherever. You go. This is around $17 for 9 grams. Now it's time to show you my bad, disappointing product. April Skin Calendula 10% PHA plus AHA Resurfacing Serum. This is actually a good hydrating serum in an airless pump bottle infused with 10% PHA and AHA which will especially benefit oily and acne prone skin types. So you might be thinking she didn't like it because she has dry skin type. But no, I instantly fell in love with this and been using it well for a couple of weeks as I especially liked its texture. This is a lightweight and viscous texture infused with calendula of Oceanalis flower extract 10% PHA and 0.1% AHA to gently exfoliate, improve skin texture, control the oil level and minimize the appearance of pores. This serum feels very hydrating with hyaluronic acid, adenosine and various flower extracts leaving the skin feeling plump and hydrated. So why did I dislike it? I didn't notice this for the first couple of weeks but later my sensitive nose started noticing a smell from the serum which instantly put me off it. It's really hard to describe what it is, but it is an extremely subtle, unpleasant smell. Ever since noticing that smell, I cannot put this on my face anymore. So I've been pumping this out to my friends and family, asking around if they can notice any smell. And guess what? Most of them said that they can't smell anything. And some of them said that they can smell a really subtle, like flower, herb-ish smell and they actually like the smell. So please don't take just my words on this. It is a very hydrating nourishing serum priced around $26 for 30 ml. Previously in my Beauty of Joseon, the greats, the so-sos and the bads video, on one of the products that I featured in the bad category, the comments were divided into two. One group was agreeing with me that they disliked it and the other group was like the surprise group because they absolutely love the product. So I'd love to hear your feedback if you try this serum. If you're interested in shopping for any of the products I've mentioned in today's video, all the shopping links will be down in the information section below so go and check them out. And please leave a comment down below which products have you tried or would like to try. I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next Korean beauty video. Annyeong!